Hey, bub, what you doing? You're in the what? Compost bin. You're in the compost bin. You are in the compost bin, aren't you? You want me to get you out? All right, I'll let you stay in there for a little bit. Well, hey, we're back. I thought I'd make another little video of uh, one of the other things we've done here in the last month. Um, finally got around to building a compost bin. I read several things on the internet about how you could do that. I was able to get a hold of a few pallets, um, uh, spare pallets that uh, from work. So um, anyway, with that, I've got a total of one, two, three, four pallets uh, into this bin. I was could use five, but decided to use just four. Let me get you out. No. Let me back up so we can get a clear shot. But what I did was uh, just turned them all on their sides, three of them anyway, and then uh, bought some hinges. I spent probably a little bit more than I wanted to because I put a handle on it and a little locking mechanism. Uh, I spent about 30 bucks all together on the hardware for this bin. But um, got these hinges here, got this door. I put a, a top latch on here. This It locks. We unlock it and we'll just demonstrate. I'm going to open it up. Uh, watch out. Come on out. Hi. Stay right there. So I got a little door in this compost bin. Uh, there is a pallet that's underneath here just to provide a little aeration there on the bottom. But the idea here is we're going to uh, collect a bunch of leaf leaves and uh, yard waste. But if you're going to... Here. Come on out. Okay. Leaves and yard waste and we're going to pile them in this bin. And then, you know, periodically turn it with pitchfork or whatever, but uh, and make some compost. Um, ultimately, I'm gonna, I've got enough room, I can do another two bins, and I'm gonna have a series of three bins here connected to each other. Because uh, it takes, if you want to make really, really good compost, age it well, whatnot, uh, three year rotation is pretty much ideal. Just let things kind of break down, make sure it's just well broken down. And everything is uh, stabilized, but uh, with the three bins, then I'll be able to make uh, compost, and then just uh, you know cycle through it. You know, each new year, take out the one that's three years old, and so on and so forth. Um, to make, uh, you can make, you can compost just about anything, but really, to make good compost, you need a ratio of uh, roughly two to one. Uh, Two browns to one green. Um, for for example, it'd be like two bags of leaves to one bag of uh, grass clippings, and you mix it all really well. And the the, uh, the greens have a lot of bacteria, or uh, broken down mostly by bacteria. If I wanted a compost that was kind of rich in a uh, Kind of fungal content, I'd have more browns than greens. But you need the greens to help break down the browns, uh, speed up the process, and then uh, just keeping this thing aerated is a key to um, breaking it down. That's why the compost bins that you see advertised that make compost in 14 days do so well because you can continually aerate them, and provide kind of a fuel uh, for the bacteria and microorganisms that are breaking stuff down so anyway we put together this little bin I used some spare boards just to kind of give it some support here on the end taking I'm taking advantage of my chain link fence for the back um, so I didn't have to use as many pallets and then of course I got the door here so we're gonna go ahead and shut this grab my little handle here no we're going to collect some leaves, bub. So there you have it. Yeah, not very difficult to make. And pallets you can pretty much get from a variety of places. And a lot of them are, you know, they use their pallets a few times. But um, especially, no, don't. Don't do that. You'll lock the garage. 
You got anything else to say? No? Can you say bye? No? Alright. So anyway, that's it. Uh, again, we're going to start getting to work here and hopefully fill that bin up by the end of the day. Until next time. Bye.